DeSanta. Good to see you. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Yes, oh, yeah. yes. If you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Get the crew. Let's go, let's go. We need Lester in the air, running comms, and managing the link up with the train. Some rental hood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. Rental hood? That's just one of the hats I wear. Hey, I'm in the tunnel, man. When you start your field of bag with Beals routine, give me a word. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? Dumber than Polito Bay and working for Trevor. Okay. Hey, let's drill a hole in this damn thing. Hey, here we go! to be here soon. We gotta blow these cages fast. Get in the vault and plant the bumps, yo. Fit that second cage, dog. The bombs are in place. I'm gonna set them off. Cages are open. I hold them off. Get the metal where we need it for pickup. Everything okay down there? 
Don't worry about us. Just get the bricks out. Where are all the cops going? It's almost like you guys aren't taking this seriously. Get back in the bank. There's a new team repelling into the tunnel. I gotta pull out. Ah, oh, fuck. The bricks are gone, right? I'm bringing the chopper back around. Nah, man, get the bricks out of here. Go, Tom. Get the metal out the city. You heard him. Go. So the chopper's away. All right, we're coming out the back door. All right, man, look, downtown's locked up tight. We should get out of here together, dog. Meet at the footbridge to Arcadia. There ain't gonna be room at the getaway car. I'll cover you run, then I'll try to duck out solo. Really? Good luck, dog. I'll run. We're meeting up at the Alta Street footbridge. Hey, they didn't give us the goal. The government stole more gold than we have. My pockets are empty, officer. Walk away! Throw it! Damn, you made it! Whew. After doing the walk in the Union Depository, man! It was a whole lot less successful than your lick, but we needed to divide attention! Woo! Hot! Going to crow! Come on! You're lizards! Don't pretend to be human! Don't be dumb! Don't be a hero! Woo! God! Come on. 
on, this is a game to me. Dog shit, come on! The shit I've been in with Trevor's got nothing on that! Let's go! They catch us, man! We never getting out! Kind of reckless, homie. Hey, if they catch us, man, Trevor's gonna get your shit. Getting called, not now, homie.
Hey, think of the metal. Let's go. We got to lose them. this right we cool it's just a little heat man you can handle this You can do this, M. Lose them. It's like any score. You just lose the cop. We're clear. I'll check on the goal. Trevor, Lester, come in. Mikey, Mike, how you doing? T, I think we're in the clear. You doing all right? We got company. Looks like Merriweather. You sure you can handle an RPG? The noob tube? Ha! Are you holding a steady? Get me an angle? They're gone. There they are! Three of them! Letting go! Hold it steady! We're going to miss the train! Take it, you bitch! Get me closer and I'll shoot him! This is it! This is it!
are good. All right? Wow. You are one serious fucking buzzkill. Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacations. No nothing! Now come on, sugar! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is. Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Oh, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I... I I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're 
fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. There he is. Where we going? We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. Least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Look, man. Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Clear the building. Watch your sector. Gee, dog, you gotta wait.
Okay, they're mine! I didn't have to save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. Back up! Oh. Get the fucking hand there. Drop fucking everything! So what's the difference between this and our licks in the hood? Difference is several tons of gold, huh? Can you get to him? Shit! Nobody's going. Fine! I'll try and find him! To know you care. Next time I'll leave you to it. Watch out! Another FIB team on the way! Mine. 
I'm closing him out! did it. Shit, for now? Yeah, exactly. For now. So, ho, ho, ho. what's next, huh? We're just gonna wait around till someone kills us, or are we gonna wait until this fucker gets turned again? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We wanna throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you put in the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh! I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike going Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. Couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. What do you. Hey, the old man's here. 
It's leaving the Beast Club. I'm gonna do it now. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and Agent Haynes. Yeah, right? Man. Pal, Stretch, he ain't a problem no more, Frank. See, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt.
I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Is Los Santos. Degenerate reality. Result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent. Oh my god! The guy! That's his name. He shot him! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The uh, Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. It is real. I repeat, cops. It is real. Where are you? Let's earn our pay. I'm getting kind of bored of killing you, Prince. This asshole paying you. I hope it was worth it. He's after EW. Extreme prejudice. Grab that son of a bitch. Get a job. 
I'm the definition of SP. I'm the most suspicious Your person turn! you'll meet. Loser. Come sit. I'm a walking combat situation, assholes. I just put down half your outfit back in town. Go take him out! Man down! Uh -huh. We got a man down! You stuck back! Damn it! Uh -huh. What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Where am I? Let me out! Let me out! Pipe down! You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I'm gonna get you! I'm making a personal injury claim. You're fucked. Fuck! This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. You're a dead man. Go meditate, you phony prick. I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. Hey! God damn it! Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time.
Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. <laughs> 